Hey guys. So I'm pretty sure you already know from the title of this video that we're gonna be talking about my acne scars and what I am currently doing to get rid of them. Y'all, I'm actually sitting in a chair in the bathroom. Um, yeah, I'm sitting in my computer chair. But anyway, some of you may say that is nothing compared to most people's face. But when you have always had nice, fairly, fairly nice skin, no black spots or anything, just smooth, pretty skin, you know, something like this happens where this bad, or, I mean, or worse or less worse than the other person, it still makes you feel some type of way. And me having this, it has really messed with my self-esteem, my confidence, and all types of stuff. It had me for a while in, in a deep depression. I didn't want to come outside. I didn't want to show my face to anyone because I'm like, you know, people used to you having smooth skin. So every time you look up, they're like, oh my God, girl, what happened to your face? Why you got all those bumps on your face? Oh my God, you should see a dermatologist. You should do this. You should do that. You get to the point where you're just over it. I don't want to hear that no more. You know, this, this is my face now and this is what I have to deal with and it hurts so bad. So... In this video, I'm gonna show you what I am currently doing to like clear it up. I don't know if it works. All I can say is my face look a lot better than it did last week. So it may be working and it may not be working. And I'm gonna also say, this is what I am currently doing now. I am not a doctor. I don't know if this is gonna work or if it's not gonna work. I don't even know what's causing my acne. My face is really burning on the inside right now. It's itching really bad, like all in my cheeks and under my chin. It's really itching, like literally, like feel like something is crawling in me. But I can't do nothing about it right now. I can't scratch my face. I don't want to touch it with my hands or anything because I don't want it to get worse. I want it to get better. So if you want to try and do what I'm doing, do it at your own risk. Because like I said earlier, I am not. Although I would love to be, it would be pretty awesome. I am not a doctor. Now let's get into this video. What's up? So, first off, let's wash those hands. Hands are nice and clean. Gonna wash them off. Now, we're gonna take some water, some warm water, gently rub it. We're gonna rub the water on our face, get it all in there. And I don't know if you can see this. I got this from Walmart. Neutrogena is oil free. I have really oily skin. So yeah, I need this. And it doesn't take much, probably not even that much. That's probably too much. But just take a little and you just rub it. A little goes a long way. You see there? So probably just not even half of what I have would have like worked for my whole face. But since I have it already out and I don't want to put it back in the bottle, I'm going to just go ahead and uh -oh, let me move my scarf up some because I want to make sure I get everything. Okay, I'm gonna do this for like a minute or probably less, maybe 30, 30 seconds to a minute. Yeah, just rub it in. It's exfoliating scrub and it has those little things in it. I don't know if you can see it. So when you rub it in, it feels like you're scratching your face. So you don't have to do it alone. After I'm done rubbing all this in, I'm going to rinse it off with some cold water. Kind of close. I don't know. What, what is it? You open the pores, then you close the more. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to rinse it off and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I have a clean towel. And I'm going to pat my face dry. Just like that. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I'm just gonna pat it dry because I just scrubbed it with that cleaner. And I don't wanna irritate it anymore. You know what it already is? I have a package of these um, pads, cotton pads. And 
then I have some witch hazel. I don't know if you can, I got this from Walmart. It was like a dollar and something, maybe uh, $2 for the most part. And um, yeah, like a little of this, wet my thing up and just like rub it on my face. Well, I don't know if you should rub it or pat it, but for me, I'm just gonna do the, uh, that's, I hate that part. How it just peels off yeah okay we're gonna rub some more okay I'm gonna wet the other side and um yeah pat <laughs> my face is really irritated so for me I it is safe to just pat everything that I put on there instead of rubbing it in yeah okay now let's get all this that's that stuff off my face. Okay, now that I'm done with that, I have the lotion. The grapefruit lotion is also by Neutrogena, the oil-free acne moisturizer. And um, you can get this from Walmart or probably any other like uh, drugstore or something. So I'm just gonna put a little like that. And when I put this on my face, maybe I should do the acne scars or the bumps. I try to avoid them, like putting lotion on them. And I will show you why I do it. Like when I go to bed, I try to avoid it. And I'm gonna show you why. So I just take a little and rub it around the perimeter of my entire face and my nose since I don't have any problems with my nose. Most of my acne scars are like right here on my cheeks. And you can see my skin is super dry right now. Around my mouth is always dry, so I'm just gonna take a little bit more and go around in this area where there's no bumps. Yeah, there's no bump. See, just spots right in this area, no bumps. And my eyebrows around here is always dry, like literally always dry. So I put the moisturizer in those areas. And now for the last step before I go to bed. Yeah, now my face feels better. I have some Q-tips. I already cut one. I always take it and, and cut it. And I have... Some toothpaste, you know, when you have your toothpaste and some get stuck in the lid. So I take a clean Q-tip and I take the ins the take it and put it in here, and I get the toothpaste. Yes, I do this. You see where the oh my god, I still got paper from the cotton pad on there. So you see where the bumps are? You just like. Put a little, like just tap it. You don't need much, like where all the fresh bumps are. Kind of rub it in a little. Yeah, just rub it in a little over the bumps. This toothpaste is literally, it's really, really strong. I have the Colgate brand. That's all we use is Colgate. So it's it's really strong. <laughs> That's all. Yeah, it's really strong. I think I put too much, but it's all good. Yeah, and then when I wake up, when I wash my face, the bumps are dry. So it's like they disappear really quickly. So I'm just praying and hoping I can get rid of all the bumps as soon as possible. And then I have to find something else to get rid of the black spots but yeah okay i got more cotton pad stuff up here i love my teeth <laughs> yeah so that is that's all that i do guys it's basically what four steps put a little water on your face um wash your face then put the witch hazel on your face that's third step then put the moisturizer which is fourth step and then I do the toothpaste. So five steps. Yeah. And don't forget to grease those lips. 
<laughs> I have to grease my lips before I go to bed. So you guys can see my face before I go to bed. I'm full of white stuff from the cotton pad. <laughs> um, but it's okay. It's everywhere. So my face kind of looks better now. But um, we'll see in a few weeks. I'm gonna probably upload a video once a week to let you know, like if it's working or if it's not working or probably twice a week. You just never know. And if you guys have any suggestions for me, like what do you think may work? Like, or if you have this issue and um, you found something that works for your skin, you know, I know what works for one person may not work for the other person, but it doesn't hurt to try to help a person and be, you know, just tell them, well, I tried this and it worked for me. I'm not going to say it's going to work for you, but it could possibly work for you. So just, you know, don't have, like, just, just give it a try. And if you're afraid, you can consult with your uh, dermatologist and, you know, and ask them for their advice on it or ask them what could you do to clear it up? You know, like, just do what works for you. That's all I'm going to say. And, but Please, if you can help a sister out, please help me out. Cause you know, like I I'm really tired of walking around like this and I want to clear it up as fast as possible. It's been a whole year, a whole year. And I just want to be normal again. Seriously. And I know y'all probably like, girl, you normal. Look at your skin. Your skin is not bad. And it's for me, it's really bad. So yeah, like you gotta have a clear face. You know, you gotta have a clear face. So yeah, if you can help me out, if you know something that you think might work for me, drop it down below and I would definitely give it a try because right now I just want my face to be clear. And thanks for watching this video. And for the ones who are not subscribed to my video and you probably just came up across my channel by accident trying to figure out something just like I'm trying to figure out something that'll clear up my face, you know, just look your girl up, give your girl a thumbs up subscribe, leave a comment, and please, by all means, share the video. Share the video. Maybe there's somebody else out there struggling with the same thing that we are struggling with. So if we can just share it and get it out there, we can help somebody else in need. And maybe that person ha that has already been through what we're going through, maybe those people could see our videos and help us out. You know what I'm saying? So please don't hesitate to share. Don't hesitate to like. Don't hesitate to leave a comment. Whatever you're feeling, I'm open to suggestions and new ideas or whatever. You know, I will not judge you. Just, just help a sister out and I'm going to help you out as much as I can. All right. Love you guys. Have a good one.